An experiment within an experiment. Check out the description below to find out why I am reposting my video in less than a week. Enjoy. Hello YouTube and welcome to the first episode of my new series called Simon's Means and Methods. My name is Simon and I will be your host. In today's episode I'm excited to share with you my findings behind the ever so mysterious car remote under the chin trick. When I went to high school back in the late 1900s, the aftermarket car... <laughs> When I went to high school back in the late 1900s, the aftermarket car alarm had just been invented. I owned a Clifford alarm, I loved it. Well one day my friends Kevin and Rob taught me a little trick. They taught me that if I were to simply place the remote underneath my chin like this, I could significantly extend the range of it. Well you know what? It worked back then and it still works today. I do it all the time. Some of you, maybe even most of you, are already aware of this little trick. It was actually mentioned in that movie La La Land. But, have you ever wondered by how much does this extend the range of your remote? Well stick around because today we find out. Alright, first of all, thanks for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. A little introduction to my new means and methods series. I'm going to try to present to you a variety of topics. Things that are interesting or different, thought-provoking. Things that make you stand out from the crowd. Uh, Some life hacks, things that make life easier. So, when you're done with the video, make sure you subscribe so we can keep in touch. But today, we are focusing on the car remote. This remote goes to that car over there. Today's unit of measure will be one standard nine foot parking space. But before we can measure the range of our remote under the chin, we need a control to measure against. So let's see how many parking spaces it takes me to reach my car using the traditional non-life hack method. 12 spaces. All right, now let's measure the new method. But wait, I'm feeling extra ambitious today. I've noticed over the years that other techniques have also worked at extending the range of my remote. And I would like to present to you all five techniques and we shall test all five and determine which one has the most range and we will crown it as the winner. Number one, the classic chin master. Number two, the Templeton Peck. Number three, the bosom buddy. Number four, the personal foul. And finally, number five, teacher's pet. I was going to add a method number four and a half with the arm halfway between straight out and straight up, but I was advised against it. It might give the wrong impression. But I will add a sixth method because I'm curious. Number six, corner pocket. This is simply keeping the remote in the pocket. I want to know if having the remote close to the body extends the range a little bit. I sure hope corner pocket doesn't win. What a terrible outcome that would be. All right, let's test all six methods, starting with the Templeton Peck. We'll save the Chin Master for last because deep down inside, that's the one I want to win. I do not know the outcome of this experiment. It could be a six-way tie, but let's find out together. Here's the Templeton Peck. Forty-four spaces. Now the bosom buddy. Forty-four spaces. The personal foul. Forty-four spaces. Well, this is both boring and exciting at the same time. Boring because we have a three-way tie halfway to a six-way tie at 44 spaces, but exciting because we're well over our 12-space baseline. Now let's keep going. Teacher's pet. Thirty-three spaces. Corner pocket. 35 spaces. And finally, the Chin Master. 33 spaces? What? 
And the results are, in a disappointing tie for last place at 33 spaces is my beloved Chin Master and the teacher's pet. In second place at 35 spaces we have Corner Pocket, surprisingly. And our winner of today's experiment, it's a three-way tie at 44 spaces, the Templeton Peck, the Bosom Buddy, and the Personal Foul. I am happy with the results. All of the new methods do spank the 12 space baseline, so feel free to use any of them, but if you want the most range, you're going to want to use the driver's choice, either the Templeton Peck, the Bosom Buddy, or the Personal Foul. Well there you have it folks, a few ways to almost quadruple the range of your remote. Use it at the shopping mall, the airport parking lot, or to start your car from the fourth floor of your office building on a cold winter day. I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. I'm already anticipating some of the goofy comments. Uh, no, I will not redo the experiment using any other body parts. Uh, share this video. Maybe if we get enough views, uh, maybe I can afford one of those uh, hairy microphones, you know, that cut out the wind. That would be nice. Anyway, it's been fun. This has been the first episode of Simon's Means and Methods. See you next time. Bye.